Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, in the second part, what we're going to look at is creating just the key poses um, for this character. So this is just a little example that I did already. Um, let's play this. So we're looking for this kind of thing. Okay, might do a variation on this. We'll see. Um, but that kind of sidekick. Okay, so let's just go into our character. Uh, again, as with anything, um, let's just check a few things out. So luckily our selection set still working. Uh, let's just check our settings for the animation preferences under our time slider. I'm just going to make sure that the playback speed is real time, 24 frames a second, which it is. Save that. Okay. Um, let's just set our timeline to 24 frames, so just to a second. Should be plenty enough for this kind of kick. And on our first frame, everything selected, let's just press S, set key. Okay. So the first thing we want to do. Get our body moving sideways. Let's just grab this and let's start moving the feet. Out a little bit. We need to just get this knee and just have this facing forward as well. Let's not worry about that lift at the minute. Let's just get this back foot. Let's move it back further. And let's grab these hips and let's just pull these down again. If I need, need to constantly adjust the knee controller as you move in major parts. Right. And I am going to get the rotation of this and just start moving this a little bit forward. Uh, sorry, a little bit towards the front, just a little bit more rotated on this. Straighter. Now this foot quite as rotated round. Get more forward. Just trying to get a semi kind of neutral pose on this. Hips. What I'm going to do with the spine initially is just start rotating these more and more until we get to the chest. Start to bring that a lot more forward and let's just follow this with the head. Okay. I'm always looking at this. In fact, sometimes I'm just going to, because this is now uh, pointing the orientation of the object, um, sometimes I just want to move it left and right in terms of the space, the world space. So let's just double click on this. Let's go into our object, into world. Let's close this down a second. Get the arms in play, so let's just rotate these down. Just relaxing these, just putting a little bit bend into the elbow. Let's grab our hand. Move this round. And let's just make sure our clavicle. We can just bring this back a little bit. His arm is down, so let's just bring this down to accentuate that as well. 
never forget about the clavicle on there. So let's grab this arm. About kind of where the camera pose would be. bend on the arm I'm also just going to go into the hands here um, uh, in fact I should be able to click on both of these shift click uh, it's going to open and close and let's just give these a bit of a close give a bit of asymmetry to that Target out. Give him a bit of breathing room in there. Okay. With the hips. Again, just going to start working on a different rotation this now. So I've mainly been working on this uh, RY rotation. Let's just look at. Let's bring this back a little more so we're just working on the X rotation now I'm just going to accentuate this a bit more uh, and again I'm going to do is just bring the rib cage back so just give it a bit more of a bend on that see if we can push this even further okay and then more of a curve on there as we're looking at it. Uh, we just need to rebalance this out so let's bring this out a little bit because we pulled the hips back and the shoulders back uh, we just need to pull this back so it's all balanced around itself just looking where the headline is above that center line okay something like that Uh, we didn't do this clavicle, let's just make sure we do. Need to push this back, and again, let's just pull this down. So, uh, trying to actually move every part of the body here. And the final thing I'm just going to go into is our hip IK controller. This gives a little bit of a. We can do some squash and stretch. Oops with this if we wanted to um, but this one's going to give a bit of rotation to this and it's going to accentuate those hips even more so with that flat see there just push that back even a little more on there Again, because we've done that. Actually, it's not bad. So it gives a nice little um, rotation of the pelvis when you do that. Okay. Let's just grab everything again. And the first keyframe, I'm just going to press S again just to make sure I've got um, keyframes on there. And I'm also going to right click on this and copy it and go over to frame 24, right click and just paste this in. Okay, halfway between frame 12, uh, I'm just going to do an S to set key. And we can start thinking about our kick. So just referring back to our material, looking at this, um, these images. You can see the line of this, probably go for this kind of thing, maybe not as extreme as that, but we can always push it a bit more. Um, Seeing so a lot of these, these are quite flat footed, some people raise onto the toe I think that gives it a bit more of an nicer arc on that so that's maybe something we'll look at um, the arm generally forward with a leg the back arm uh, generally back pushing out maybe protecting the body a bit so um, a lot of twist in the spine as well 
see where the twist is happening around this part of the body where it's rotated in but the, the shoulders and the head is still trying to pull up and look forward on that. Get that out of the way. So in this I'm just going to uh, just reset the rotations on this just for a second. So let's grab this and remember this time we're going to go in on our side. We're almost facing forward um, with the hips around that line. The other thing we need to do is just quite extreme move. I've given this some bend. Um, so the hips are moving right out, allowing that leg to lift up naturally. Okay. We'll grab the hips. Let's just pull these so it's over this back leg. Balance on that right. And let's just grab this foot now this up, Let's rotate this round, push him out, and again, because we've played with the leg, we just need to play with this knee aim. grab the hips and this foot and the hip control as well let's just move this whole thing back Cigar kick. Let's get the uh, spine working on this. So uh, I can see this is quite straight at the minute. Uh, got this rotation on these. Let's again work on these rotations. So let's bring these. So our hips are rotating. We just need to rotate these. Bit by bit round, which isn't actually bad from the first time. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's bring this so this is rotating round more in line with the hips, and actually taking that bit more, f uh, a bit further on there. And again, pull on this rib cage. So we get this curve in there. Because the leg point in this way as well. Now the rotation of the um, hips just a bit more towards that leg. So. So just looking at all the curves on this, on this spine. You should look at every curve really within this. And uh, you're always looking at these curves, either S curves or C curves, throughout the body on here. Okay? Maybe that's still bound a bit. Okay. So, we kind of said with this leading arm, A little bit. It so follows the leading leg. Get a bit of an angle on on this as well with the curve. Um, let's look at the shoulder on this. 
Now we're now pulling the shoulder forward and up. Maybe just bring this down a bit more. In line with the body, a bit closer to the body line there. Okay. Let's go into this, let's go into the hand on this. And let's just close this right in to a fist. And then with this back arm, some people do have it stretched out less. What I generally do is just bring this in. Just to protect the body a bit more. Let's get the shoulder again. Move this back a bit. Move this up a bit as well. close to the body can always grab this hand again on this side close this in again just let's go back to these hips make sure everything's okay there <coughs> Lost its line a little bit. I'm just looking down the center line here when I'm looking at the kick, as if the point of uh, impact was around here. down so um, actually let's just check um, this frame uh, I just like to do this finally to see if we can add a bit more curvature in the spine just this little controller in the middle this IK hips let's give it a bit more More curvature, a bit more bend in there, a bit more of a stylized kind of bend in that. Okay. <coughs> if we to play blast this just quickly, <coughs> right click, go into our play blast options, uh, quick time H264. Um, I haven't saved this, so let's just play blast this. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So we have the poses there. All the movement you're doing is really, really weak right, right now. There's no way to talk. Um, but just those key poses and spending some time on them um, really makes a difference. So we'll finish the tutorial here, and next time we'll start looking at the in-betweens uh, and breaking down the animation.